You're watching Influence Me Wednesday with Morale All Things Hair. Hello, my name is Morello King, and thank you for joining with us. Okay, this is our segment, Fashion and Flair with Hair, and I am here with my co-host, D. Hardy of Elevation Salon. Okay, thank you, D. Hardy, for joining with us today. Thank you for having me as usual. Yes, 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 and so our topic of today, I tell you, you guys must go ahead and share this at this point. Because when I tell you our topic of today is that season, and tell them what's going on, D. Hardy. You have prom, you have wedding, you have uh, Easter, you yes. have Mother's Day. Yes. You have a lot of holidays here, man made or not. <laughs> yes. To look forward to. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. And so when I tell you, we are going to help you out this season, all right? Okay, with all of the styles, everyone kind of rocking the same thing, adding hair and whatnot. How can you stand out and look different? Okay, and so again, go ahead and share this. All right, and so D. Hardy, what you know are some some of the things that you've been seeing when it comes to you know this season and prom and whatnot? What can you share with the ladies right now, getting ready for prom? Getting ready for prom. What I can share with you, ladies, here this season is make sure you are ready. Select your stylist. Yes. Secure your look. Come Select the, con the consultation and secure the look that you de your desired look. Absolutely, because when I tell you, again, you know, people are adding hair. So one of the things that you can do to say, okay, how can I stand out? We're going to talk about color today. Color. Okay, absolutely, because that's one of the things that people tend to not play so much with. You know, they have the, the dresses with the different colors, and so you try to play it safe with the black. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, often when it's a formal event specifically, yes. the ladies are more reluctant or more reserved with regards to the hair. Absolutely. So what you can do is be complimentary. Utilize that garment or that piece that you're wearing and use your hair as an accent. Com because it's yes. the one crown we never take off. Absolutely, and I love what you have to say. When it comes to color, you know, the pastels are in right now. And so how can you play that up? I know that you wanted to ask because, again, if you're wearing the dresses, you know, with soft colors and whatnot, you can get some other colors that complement that one color. Okay, so they are to be different this season. And less is not necessarily more. Sometimes more is less. Oh, yes. So, again, be a trendsetter. You set the pace. You set the tone. And you start and be that person everyone else desires to be. It doesn't have to be a celebrity per se. Be your own celebrity and live within your own truth. And let me just say this. Um, D. Hardy had an open house and he did a pick a um, right. I, And so let me just say that you guys most must go back and revisit that live. This past Saturday we shot that. And when I tell you that pick a color was absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Let me just say. Okay. And so now when you talk about with the pick a color, can you just elaborate just in case they're just like, okay, pick a what is that? So you have women who work in very diverse environments. You have mothers that are a tad bit more conservative. You have our older community of women who uh, don't want to stand out as much but want to enjoy the benefits yes. of color, yes. a playful outlook or a playful take on the tradition. So a pick is easily defined as just that, pick a <laughs> I see you. If you yes. guys can see clear enough, so I have a, a color going on here on my beard. Love it. Different than the last time you guys seen me. Um, but this would be considered a peekaboo as to where everything is typically your standard, your more natural, your more neutral tones. This would be your pop of color that's easily concealed when you want it to be concealed, but easily out there in the open and seen when you want it to be seen. Okay, and so now let me just also say this, just like D. Hardy stated, you know, for you corporate women, okay, you know, it's the, it's the holiday, and okay, and you may want to say, okay, I kind of want to just stand out somewhat, but I know I have to go back into that corporate setting. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> okay, so now how can I incorporate that? Again, that pickable color, I mean, you can asset that color all underneath, and it sits in a place where it can easily be hidden. That's correct. But anytime you want to throw that hair off to the side, 
Just a little bit. Over direction. Again. Undercut. I'm here to tell you. And well, if we could just speak on your color for just a moment here. Uh -huh. You guys can see again as well. Morel is walking, rocking a vibrant, yet subtle maroon with some hints of pink. Okay. Very corporate appropriate because her base is still natural. Her garment is still new. So she's not pink from head to toe. But the colors that she has choose, chosen complement one another. And then equally complement skin tone. We'll come back with the skin tone and how it plays into. But you know, skin tone is equally crucial to the selection made. Oh my goodness. Please say that again. Skin tone <laughs> is crucial to the color selection made. Absolutely. And you know what? I'm so glad that you stated that. Um, again, when it, you know, people tend to sometimes be uncomfortable. You know, they think that, okay, if I'm in this corporate setting, how can I stand out with a little pink? You know, oh, that's, that's not professional, but it is. Again, it's the balance Correct. of it all. Okay, am I right? It's Absolutely. the balance of it all. And so those are the things that you want to think about when you're, you know, looking for that dress, okay, dressing for the holiday and whatnot. How can I be different and stand out, you know, be a trendsetter, but easily step back into that corporate setting? That is correct. That is correct. And so now when it comes to the skin tone, what would you say? Go ahead and kind of talk on that a little bit. You know, with skin tone, I'm a chocolate brother. <laughs> So all of my chocolate women out there that are viewing this, the chocolate men even, because we do understand there's a market out there for men and we often tend to overlook, you know, and, and tailor our approaches more toward women when you think in terms of hair salon, pops of color, peekaboos. Those are not the most masculine of phrases used. So yes. it generates a level of discomfort. However, when we speak in terms of pigment and skin tones, you want something that's going to accent. If you are a chocolate woman, much like myself, you want uh, colors that are saturated, heavily saturated. We spoke on saturation the last time. You want colors that uh, work in conjunction with, knowing what your primary colors are, your secondary colors, and even your treasury colors are. And that's more of our lingo. Yes. However, it's pertinent to you going forward and knowing what's going to be the best selection Absolutely. for self. Absolutely. Warm and cool tones. You want yeah. to speak on those? No, absolutely. So now when I tell you, um, now those are tones that's very easy to get, you know, comfortable in. Mm -hmm. You know, we become comfortable in those tones. But I tell you, um, it's time to just step out and be a trendsetter. You know, um, the warm tones are, you know, and, and let me just say it is the season for it. Okay. okay because we are in spring. Okay, so this is the time to kind of step out with your blondes, you know, your burnt orange, um, your peach. Kind yeah. of, oh, ah, oh my, I almost. Okay, okay, ah, okay, ah, okay. Ah, come on, peach. Okay, that peach, um, that's actually taking that burnt orange. Now, let me just say, if you know about your color, that's taking that burnt orange and adding just a little bit of white to it and bring it up to that peach. That's it. That, when I, that peach... Um, when I tell you, will pop you, especially if you're wearing like the tans or the golds or you know just any um type of earth tone. Absolutely, it actually falls into the neutral family. Uh, exactly, and so those are the you know when you talk about stepping out and being different. Okay, those are the things that you want to do. You know, it's like okay, how can I step out and become a trendsetter? Be comfortable because let me just say this. Um, people will adapt to how comfortable you are in rocking whatever you're rocking. And so if you're not comfortable, then they're not going to, they're going to feed off of that. Absolutely. Okay. And so you can make something look corporate or not. You can make it fit in corporate or not. And so those are the things that you need to think about. Okay. So now with it being prom season, you know, okay, what I would like to see different are uh, the girls kind of stepping away from just just straight hair or hair just with curls or, you know, just with the bang or, you know, what else can they do different with that? Off the face. Come on. Off the face. <laughs> off the face. <laughs> Ladies, go off the face. Off base, off the face. Have an amazing updo. You ladies are beautiful. Stop hiding. And I think that's a yes. pet peeve for me. Is that often, you know, we as a people, 
We like to hide behind. Are you challenging me? Okay. Because social acceptance yes. is everything, and we all want to be socially accepted to some extent. That's what this multi-billion dollar industry is about, yes. social acceptance, feeling good, engendering yes. excitement, your inner self, bringing them forth. Ladies, prom, mothers for Mother's Day, grandmothers, aunties, sisters, and my brothers, <laughs> feel free to step out. Go off campus. Little, uh, little off the face goes a long way. Um, we often hear, and I'm sure you could definitely attest to this, we often hear, oh no, bring it down because my face too thick. Oh no, give me a bang because my big forehead. Oh, to the side, you see it? Y yes. <laughs> oh, just a little okay. bit. But you know what? You're challenging me because so the, because the next time you know we we're together mm -hmm. and we're doing this, I, I'm gonna let you rock me into some nasty. Oh, baby. <laughs> and, and I'm you, with it. And, and I'm gonna take it off the face and kind of because you know what? You know sometimes it's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, again, all of the videos. If you guys go back and revisit it. Oh, this is covered up. Oh, I, 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 I know what I'm, what I'm working with right here. It's, it's covered. Okay. But you know what? I have to challenge myself. That is correct. You that know, correct. And, and truly show you guys what it is and in walking into something that's, that's out of your zone, Absolutely. out of your comfort zone. And you know what? Hashtag that's out of your comfort zone. Hashtag out of your comfort zone. Okay. Because that's what we're stepping into in 2018. Correct. And you know, just thinking morale, oh, mothers, oh my mothers, I love y'all, and I love mine, but you mothers, do understand that you've done what all you can do, you've done what you needed to do, and you set a foundation, even us as stylists, your canvas, your hair is the foundation, so treat it accordingly, you wouldn't build a house in quicksand, okay? You don't build houses in quicksand. You have a solid foundation. So don't compromise the integrity of your hair um, by, as I spoke of before, trying to preserve a half inch of split ends, thinking that equates to length. You do yourself a disservice. And you make it harder for the stylist equally to provide the end result that you most desire. Absolutely. So this season, while we're talking about stepping out and tailoring your approaches for the season, and for each reason, equally protect the canvas and ensure that the entire time you don't compromise the integrity because you'll have a greater end result. You and your relationship with your stylist will be much more pleasing Absolutely. and pleasant. It's okay to spend the money and consult. If I can come off the viewers for just a second and talk to the stylists that are out there. Uh, please please, 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 please appreciate Just a little bit. <laughs> And you guys just know we were not set to uh, give lessons per se today. <laughs> but share this with your stylist. Share this with your, your family members. Repost yes. it and bring and generate awareness. Mm -hmm. Stylists, can we get back to the basics? Yes. Let's consult. Mm -hmm. Let's have the conversations. Let's not make it about the coin. And let's make it conversational and allow the customer, our clients, our peers, our family, to interact and understand with us. Absolutely. Okay. That's just my little uh, soapbox for the day. <laughs> uh, but you know what? You are absolutely on point, you know, D. Hardy. And when I tell you, um, because we have to understand that we need to be able to advise um, these, you know, the, your your clients, you know, our clients. We need to be able to advise them, and um, you know, for them to truly get the the desired result that they're looking for. Um, so now, when it comes to, um, and, and we talked about, you know, the color. Let's talk about the, and we talked, you know, kind of touch the style. But one style that I kind of see, kind of you know, peaking in the industry right now. Coming back very so it's tiptoeing in. Tiptoeing in, but that's the mullet. I saw when I t I saw a client rocking a back. And I tell you, I had I'm like, oh, hold up, let me take a picture. Because she was truly rocking it hard. Something different. Different. And it caught my attention just like that. So when I tell you, 
That is something that you guys need to think about. And can you demolish? Okay, short on the top and longer in the back. Okay, short on the top, like you said, coming off the face, longer in the back. Okay, a different look, a different style. You talk about a trend setting is prom season. So something that's tiptoeing right now back into the industry. You know how styles kind of revolve yeah, and, and they come back around. So you want to, um, why not be the first one? You know, why, why not just come, Absolutely. you know, walking into uh, the facility just with something different and people turn around and say, like, okay, right. how different? It's all about a state. You know, prom is a statement. When you walk in, you want to be that person. You want to be that couple. You want to be that group of friends. Because you guys, are that's just another staple in life where you're getting ready to embark on so many other things. Why not make it one of the most memorable and yes. fashion forward moments possible? Set the trend and watch it grow. Oh, I love words like memorable. memorable. Absolutely. Oh, 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 make yes. it memorable. Uh, okay. Make it memorable. So now you have some things to share with the man. My fellas, my brothers out there, once again, share, like, follow, repost, tweet, everything that you can do. But fellas, don't be afraid. So often, you know, it's easy for my brothers out there to get the black suit, get a black tux, uh, maybe do a small, subtle pop of color. You all have a platform as well called Accessories. Don't be afraid to accessorize with a pop of color to add that extra punch and compliment the other person that you're in attendance with or your, your, your colleagues or your other brothers or fraternity brothers or what have you. Don't be afraid of playing with your accessories. Now, we only have a few that we can play with. So definitely play on them and play on them well. Suspenders. Don't mm. be afraid. Oh, I like that. Probably a little suspender for you today. Solely because it's, it's nothing more, nothing less than our way of being fashion forward and expressive all in the same while maintaining the integrity without compromising our images and our brand as men as well. But don't be afraid to play. Last but not least, get you a good shoe. Get a shoe that's comfortable, it's, it's flashy, but yet subtle. It's simple. Love it. These right here are Oxfords, the Dick Tracy shoe, whatever. Just think back to the Roaring Twenties, the Holler Thirties, the Fab Forties, something Fifty. <laughs> you know, just think back. Yes. Uh, time and time again, we've been known to, as Morale stated, recycle. So don't be afraid to take something old and mix it with the new and put your stamp on it. My brothers out there, again, don't be afraid. It's quite all right. Hashtag retro. <laughs> so I tell you, D. Hardy, thank you so much. It has been my pleasure in having you as part of my co-host. I tell you, is a he just rocking it today? Looking fab. I, I love appreciate it. Straight and nasty. Yeah, it looks <laughs> nasty, but it is I'm about to call him a <laughs> So D. Hardy, tell them where they can locate you at. You can find us over at Elevation Hair Studio. 2074 Old North Cross Road, Lawrenceville, Georgia, 30044. On Facebook and Instagram, it is Elevation Hair Studio, LLC. And I tell you, look forward to us coming to a city near you all. I'm here to tell you, we have a book tour that we're planning for. But again, my name is Morello Kane with the Hair Debate, where you must come to debate, debunk, and discover all things hair. You can locate me at morellallthingshair.media, okay, on IG at the Hair Debate. And this is Dean Hardaway, Elevation Salon, and you stay tuned.